with profound humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 4 of 4 Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Acesse suprememastertv.com barra schedule. All this ephemeral, empty names. How come people don't don't learn from history or from the surrounding other examples? Yes. Arrogance and, and self-aggrandizement uh, never serve anyone. Least of all, the leaders. Leaders should be more careful all the time. Please keep watching to find out more. No to vegan, cause after life you won't have to work anymore, only the devils will work hard to torture you. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic. Alexi is also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian. Bari Galuzd means welcome in Armenian. My name is David. The faithful people of Armenia are inspired by your gratitude for God's presence in your lives. Historic Armenia is a country of majestic mountains in the Caucasus region. Gifted with many flowing rivers and lakes, it is one of the highest altitude nations in the world. Along with its own unique alphabet, consisting of 39 letters, Armenia has been a unified Christian state for more than 1,700 years. In addition, the nation has been presented the Shining World Leadership Award for Peace by Supreme Master Ching Hai. Besides its wondrous natural beauty, Armenia's many monasteries also grace the land. The nation's three UNESCO World Heritage Sites all religious in nature, further commemorate its rich spiritual heritage. In Yerevan, the nation's capital, fresh produced markets abound with outstanding displays of fruits, vegetables, and a nation's lavash, a type of vegan flat bread. (music) 
Armenia's mineral water is now exported globally. Spa towns like Dilijan and Jermak are places where visitors can directly experience the water's health benefits. Armenian culture is full of creative expression and is renowned for its lively dance and theater. Artistic contributions include lace and elegant carpets with carpet designs that are often themed with legendary dragons and eagles. Traditional music includes the dudak, a mystical instrument mastered by Armenian musician and composer Jivan Gasparian. It was a pleasure to share a glimpse of culture-rich Armenia with you. Sincere viewers, may the angels light the way to your heavenly home. For decades, Supreme Master Qinghai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within, to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worship word honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, the worship son of God Jesus Christ the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved prophet Mohammed, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavira Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness. Wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal people friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving, plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included Alternative Living Flyer Distribution, the International Vegan Restaurants Loving Hut, Vegan Food Companies, Vegan Fur Products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics On May 15, 2022, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled The Bigger You Are in Society, The Humbler You Should Be, Part 2 of 3 on Between Master and Disciples, held in English. So a president could not afford to be arrogant like that. Yes, Master. The bigger you are in society, in the world, the more humble you should be. Yes, Master. But I don't see that example, even from the top spiritual leader like T. Francis. I don't see that example already. Yes, Master. So how can his followers become humble or anything like that? Yes. So, but this is bad for them. People don't like snobbies, men or women, whoever. No, Master. Even uh, the lady, the new president of Hungary, yes. she condemned Putin's brutal war in Ukraine. But, but uh, it's funny, her prime minister is the opposite. Last time we talked about Orban. Yes. Man, I'm so tired of men. Ladies, they have more sense, like the chief of Europe. Yes, master. Uh, Madame von der Leyen. Yes. She even went by train. Imagine that. The top leader of the European Union went by train. Simply just went there to Kiev and then handed President Zelensky some uh, protocol, of course, some questionnaire that he can answer so that he can join the EU. Yes, Master. Simplified bureaucracy. Yes. It will be not as usual a matter of years to form this opinion, but I think a matter of weeks if we work closely together. For you, dear Volodymyr, thank you so much. I want to give you that. Thank you so much. This is the question, yeah. We'll be ready with answers, Ursula, in one week. <laughs> so, the top leader of any country should be demonstrating humility. Yes. Tough but humble. Strong but gentle. Otherwise, you won't last long.
Well, French presidents, no, any presidents nowadays, they won't last long anyway. They won't continue. Oh. Yeah, mostly just one term, two terms. Yes, Master. Today you are the king, tomorrow you're nobody. Ah, all this ephemeral, empty names. How come people don't, don't learn from history or from the surrounding other examples? Yes. Arrogance and, and self-aggrandizement uh, never serve anyone. Least of all, the leaders. The leaders should be more careful all the time. You are tough when you have to be to handle some challenging situations. But you have to have humility in order to win people's hearts. I understand. If you win only half of France and the other half still against you anyway, it's already a precarious kind of uh, ambience. Yes. So you should always be more humble and more uh, realistic, more practical. Yes, Master. More pliant in the international political field. But I see it's very rare to have such leaders. What do we expect from this world, huh? Yes. Uh, did I answer you everything? Yes, Master, very clearly. I hope so. <laughs> yes, Master, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, I have another question, Master. Mm. Um, Senator Rand Paul of the U.S. Senate opposed the $40 billion U.S. aid package to Ukraine. Um, why would he do that, Master? You think he should or not? Um, he should not oppose because Ukraine needs that aid. Yeah, of course, Ukraine needs it. Yes. The whole world keeps in to help. Yes, Master. And uh, if the U.S. can afford it, then they should help more than others. He should be proud that his country is so just and generous. Yes, Master. But of course, I understand him as well. Yes. He's the only one that opposed. Yes, yes. The House passed it anyway. Yes, it did. He just stalled it for a while, maybe. Yes. Just to make it a little bit less uh, enthusiastic, but... Still pass. Yes, Master. But I understand him. You see, at the moment, every country, and America also included, economy, is uh, very shaky. Yes. Yeah, because of the pandemic, because of other wars, because of all kinds of situations. Yes, Master. And bad spending, bad uh, organizing for financial upkeep and all kinds of things. Yes. And it's a lot of money. Yes, it is a lot. Oh, my God. If we didn't have Russia go in and brutally attack without cause, unprovoked, the Ukrainian people, then this money we could use a lot for Americans, for your people to live better. Yes, Master. Yeah, better school for giving more loans for the students. Yes. So they can study well and then they contribute later to your country. Help more with health care. With pregnant women, single mothers, elderly without care, and or even help some refugees, I mean deserving refugees from nearby countries. Some don't deserve because maybe they're gangsters or something like that. They mix in to come in to mess up America and sell in uh, children or drugs, can sell in anything that is not good for humanity. Yes, Master. So this $40 billion, wow. I could not imagine that kind of money. <laughs> I would never have. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> as soon as uh, I have, I spend. Okay? Yes, Master. Uh, people look at my hand with a lot of holes between the fingers. They yes. tell me I can, never, uh, I can never keep money. I say, oh, how did you know? <laughs> I don't even need it in my hand. I would know that I can't keep money. Yes, Master. Yeah, I have some, of course, but just for spending on all kind of things. Yes, Master. Oh, that's just a lot, a lot of money, yeah, and Americans need it also. Yes, Master. America is the top economy in the world even, but many Americans are also living at the border of poverty, not below. Yes, that's right. Millions of Americans struggling to keep the lights on, a roof over their heads. Since the pandemic started, it's only gotten worse. Americans have been racking up utility debt during the pandemic. They now owe companies close to $20 billion, up 67% from the average year. A study in Massachusetts found 30% more families are now at least 90 days behind on their bill. Now, energy bills are skyrocketing due to inflation and supply problems.
Geraldine tells us she lives on $1,700 a month in Social Security. She says she pays $600 in rent and at least $300 a month pays for needed kidney and blood pressure medications. The rest of her bills, like home utilities, car fuel and groceries, she finds depressing. How hard is it living on a fixed income? It is hard. And I feel so sorry for my friends that just don't have this kind of money as much as I do because they're much worse off than me. In four months, Katya's rent for this 300 square foot apartment is going to jump from $670 a month to just over $1,000. She says her paycheck won't cover it. I would consider living in my car. Yes, I would. Home prices have skyrocketed in the last year. Apartments Katia can afford are so far away that paying to gas up her car would then be too much. I would imagine that battling this at this stage in your life is... It's really hard. It's really hard. It's... It makes me feel useless. Like, I'm not doing enough. And I saw some homeless when I was in America as well. Yes, we saw that, many. And many children don't have enough nutrition or don't have as much as they should have to spend their childhood in peace and happiness and security. Yes, Master. This is just a shame. All this, I think they should make Russia pay back. Yes. If the war is over, or somehow make them pay. Make Putin pay because he's very rich. People suspect that he's the richest man in the world. Yes, I think so. I think that's what they said. Of course, whatever he wants, he has. Yes. All these oligarchs surrounding him, and they don't dare to breathe even anything negative. <laughs> I mean, contrary to his ideas. So... I'm also recently learning more about Putin. Normally, I didn't pay attention to any leader. Yes, Master. Like even President Trump and all that, I did not even think about him or mention him until something happened to them or something they did. that caught my attention that I feel I need to say something. I understand. Otherwise, I don't pay attention to anyone. You know that. Yes, Master. From the Pope to President Trump and even President Zelensky, I didn't even know his name <laughs> until <laughs> some months ago. Oh, uh, yes. We didn't either. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know uh, where Ukraine is. I have never been there. Yes, Master. I heard something when they had some problem before, but it was a strange uh, country to me. Yes, Master. I had no intention to do anything about it. Only recently, too many children, women, and elderly, and people suffer so much for no reason. Yes, Master. And it just caught my attention because I had to research some, some news or animal people, news for our TV. Then it caught my attention by all this war as well. Yes. Otherwise, we have so many wars already. What for is it a surprise anymore, yeah? But this war is really uncalled for, yeah? That's right. That's why the whole world is pissed off, you know? I'm sorry, is that a bad word? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. For Americans, yeah. it's okay. They say that all the time, like they breathe. Yes, Master. Thanks to American movies that I learned some of these words, you know, like the B word, you know. Yes. <laughs> the S word, stuff like that. Yes. Oh, of course. Of course, not your master speaking. <laughs> That's why the whole world is so supportive of Ukraine. They feel so sorry and sympathetic to these poor, gentle, harmless people. Yes, Master. They were such happy farmers. Maybe their country is not the richest in the world. Maybe they are classified as one of the poorest countries in Europe. But they were happy people. Yes. Because they're not greedy. They are contented with what they have. Yes, Master. And they planted food for the whole world to use. Their marriage is very big. Ah, yes. Yeah, farming people, they naturally have big marriage because they... Do something that's nutritious for the children of God. Yes, Master. They raise up the children of God. They feed them. That's one of the best jobs you can have. Farming, the farmer. Yes, Master. So most of them are farmers. They don't earn that much. But they're happy. They all look healthy and good to me. Until Putin came along and raided their farms, raised their houses, and killed their children. Yes, Master. 
and their wives and their parents, for example. Those who are weak, you know, helpless and vulnerable. Yes, Master. No defense, cannot defend. So how can anybody support that? Just say if the Ukrainians give some land to Putin to satisfy his greed for now, he will not stop. No, he won't. Yeah, it is already obvious. Yes, Master. First Crimea and then Luhansk and then Donetsk and now Kherson. And now they're doing a fake uh, election there, a referendum just to coerce people to vote for Russia. Yes, Master. But everybody will know it's fake. Doesn't Putin have any shame, any honor? I guess not. Oh, yeah, how can a devil have any? Yes, Master. They are in the war just to harm humanity, to hurt, to maim, to corrupt, to destroy our planet. That's their job. Yes, Master. They are born to do that. Oh, my God. So uh, you can't even blame Senator Rand Paul. Yes, I understand. It hurts him. It hurts him because some of his people are still poor. Yes, Master. And a short of baby formula at the moment. Yes. And many people are poor, and in America is chaotic still, yeah? Yes, Master. All kinds of problems, when his people should come first. I understand. Abbott Laboratories stopped manufacturing in February amid recalls and contamination fears. That shutdown has been adding to a shortage already strained by supply chain issues. In some states like Iowa, Tennessee, Texas, Missouri, and the Dakotas, more than half of the entire supply of baby formula is sold out. Many national chains limiting purchases now. There's so much going on right now that worrying about feeding your baby should be the absolute last thing you are concerned about. We want to help Ukraine, obviously, but it yeah. goes out the door so fast. Like everything gets done for Ukraine like this, like that. Billions out the door like yeah. this. And meanwhile, Americans are looking around <laughs> like, hey, Congress, yeah. what about us? Do you feel that? Hey, I totally, I, like I totally get it. Here's the problem with Ukraine. Uh, they run out of money in terms of buying weapons, I think, at the, uh, the middle of May. We should have gotten that you know, but weaponry out sure. to them a year ago when we saw the buildup oh, coming. Oh, boy. Amen. Common sense tells you that Putin's not going to stop in Ukraine. Common sense tells you he was going to invade. Our problems here don't get better by allowing Putin to win in Ukraine because he won't stop. Yeah, but can't we do both, news. Senator? We actually can stop. Can't we do yeah, fast totally, track for totally, America? Totally. Everything's fast track totally. for overseas, but Absolutely. can we fast track it here? The homeless crisis in America is worsening again. The COVID pandemic caused a surge in housing costs and a rise in unemployment, leaving nearly 600,000 Americans unhoused in 2020. Right now, we are trending in the wrong direction. In Vietnam, we say, cửa trong nhà mới ra bề ngoài, meaning you first take care of your family. And whatever's left, you can donate. You can uh, help outsiders. Of course, otherwise, how can you starve your family and take the money out to help others? Yes, ma'am. There's no logic, is there? So, of course, as a senator for his country, he feels hurt. Yes, that's right. If you, his people are set aside, like second best or something. The educational system wants us to believe and regard the animals as plants, that cutting the head and bleeding an animal is the same as chopping a carrot. They want us to believe, wrongly, that raising animals and growing plants are equal and go hand in hand. Lam Kwe, vegan. Tomorrow, on Between Master and Disciples. The thing is, Humans also create too much karma, and it's bound to break out somewhere. Like maybe you have a, a problem with your liver, but it will break out onto your face or your skin or other places. Yes, Master. The same. In the world, we have collective karma together.
Adorable viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode, entitled "The Bigger You Are in Society, The Humbler You Should Be," Part Two of Three on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is "I Appreciate Good Thoughts: Selections from the Pathway of Life" by Leo Tolstoy, Vegetarian, Volume Two, Part One of Two, on Words of Wisdom. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May you always be sheltered in the protection of the Most High. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com/schedule and suprememastertv.com/vmd.